This demonstration video gives the solutions to practice test one for the QTS numeracy skills test offered by the Department for Education. So we'll skip past the instructions pages and we won't click the box for interactive support um, and in doing so it will make it a full mock exam um, and we'll do the test under timed conditions. So before I click continue to begin the test, um, I just want to say that you shouldn't feel obliged to use the same method that I use every time. Um, there's usually more than one possible approach to get to the solution. So please use the, the method that works best for you. Um, I've come up with this video um, to give you some quick methods or methods that I think are quick to get to the answers um, within the 18 second time limit. For more resources and practice tests, please see our website at qtsmathstest.com. Six hundred and thirty pupils paid fifty pence each on a charity day. The money collected was divided equally between three local charities. How much did each of the charities receive? 630 pupils paid 50 pence each on a charity day. The money collected was divided equally between three local charities. How much did each of the charities receive? So we have 630 pupils and they're each paying 50p, so that's dividing by half a pound, which is where you get 315 from. And we divide that by 3, so 300 divided by 3 is 100, 15 divided by 3 is 5, and we add them together. Question 1. A teacher interviewed 31 pupils to review their progress. Each pupil was allocated 7 minutes. What was the minimum number of half-hour lessons needed to carry out all of the interviews? A teacher interviewed 31 pupils to review their progress. Each pupil was allocated 7 minutes. What was the minimum number of half-hour lessons needed to carry out all of the interviews? So each um, appointment is seven minutes, so you can do four of those in a half-hour lesson, or 28 minutes with two minutes left over. Um, so we need to repeat that process eight times to see all 31 pupils. So eight is the answer. Fifty-five seater coaches are booked for a school trip. Five classes of 26 pupils, five teachers and eight parents are booked on the trip. How many more pupils could go on the trip? Three 55 seater coaches are booked for a school trip. Five classes of 26 pupils, five teachers and eight parents are booked on the trip. How many more pupils could go on the trip? So total number of seats on, on the coach is 165. Total number of people involved is 143. We need the difference quickly and it's 22. Question 3. A school's end of Key Stage 3 English test results for a class of 25 pupils showed that 22 pupils achieved Level 4 and above. What percentage was this? A school's end of Key Stage 3 English test results for a class of 25 pupils showed that 22 pupils achieved Level 4 and above. What percentage was this? So we have 22 out of 25 getting the level 4. So we treat this as an, an equivalent fraction. So times top and bottom by 4, we get 88 out of 100. Percent just means out of 100, so 88% is our answer. One hundred pupils correctly completed a sponsored spelling test of 45 words. Each pupil was sponsored at five pence per word. How much money did the pupils raise in total? 
100 pupils correctly completed a sponsored spelling test of 45 words. Each pupil was sponsored at 5 pence per word. How much money did the pupils raise in total? Okay, so we have to times all these numbers together. 45 times 5p is £2.25. Times 100, you're moving the decimal two places along, £225. Question 5. What is 0 0.02 multiplied by 15? Give your answer as a decimal. What is 0 0.02 multiplied by 15. Give your answer as a decimal. So ignore the decimal for now. Pretend it's 2 times 15 to get 30. And then, so those are the right figures in the answer. To help you know where the decimal goes is, you think one place, two place, so there must be two in the answer. 0 0.30 or 0 0.30 is the answer. In a group of pupils, 87.5% passed a GCSE examination. What fraction did not pass? Give your answer in its lowest terms. So 12.5% In a group of pupils, 87.5% passed a GCSE examination. What fraction did not pass? Give your answer in its lowest terms. So 12.5% is one of those conversions that you just have to memorise. 12.5% just think it's one eighth. Question 7. Pupils spent 25 hours in lessons each week. Six hours per week were allocated to English. What percentage of lesson time per week was spent on other subjects? Pupils spent 25 hours in lessons each week. Six hours per week were allocated to English. What percentage of lesson time per week was spent on other subjects? So the thing to be aware of is the question wants the percent for the other subjects. So it's 25 minus 6 is 19. We have equivalent fractions, so we times top and bottom by 4 to get 76 out of 100. 76% is our answer. Four-fifths of a group of 165 pupils took part in voluntary work. How many pupils was this? Four-fifths of a group of 165 pupils took part in voluntary work. How many pupils was this? So four-fifths is 80%, so let's work at 10% first. Move a decimal along, so 16 and a half is 10%. 33 is 20%, so 33 times four, 132 would be our 80% that we want. Question nine. A teacher completed a claim form for the number of miles travelled to and from six ICT training sessions. The journey one way was 17 and a half miles. What was the total number of miles claimed? A teacher completed a claim form for the number of miles travelled to and from six ICT training sessions. The journey one way was 17 and a half miles. What was the total number of miles claimed? So we have six training sessions and they always do this. So the teacher always goes back again. So 17 and a half times two is 35 miles for each journey. Times six is 210 miles. A pupil scored 73% in a test. In a later test, the pupil scored 18 out of 24. What was the difference between the percentage scores obtained by the pupil in the two tests? A pupil scored 73% in a test. 
In a later test, the pupil scored 18 out of 24. What was the difference between the percentage scores obtained by the pupil in the two tests? So we have 18 out of 24, which we need to cancel down to its lowest terms or low enough for us to spot what the percentage is. So divide top and bottom by six, we get three quarters, which is 75%, and the difference from 73 is Question just Question 11. A minibus traveled 100 miles and used 0.25 liters of fuel per mile. Fuel cost 88 pence per liter. What was the cost of the journey? A minibus traveled 100 miles and used 0.25 liters of fuel per mile. Fuel cost 88 pence per liter. What was the cost of the journey? Okay, so we basically need to multiply all these numbers by each other. So the order of multiplying is up to you. Um, 0.25 is a quarter, so that's the same as 88 divided by 4 is 22, and times in by 100, you put two zeros on. Divide by 100 again for the pounds, 22 pounds. A test takes one hour, 30 minutes. A pupil is allowed 10% extra time. The test starts at 13.30. At what time must the pupil finish the test? Give your answer using the 24-hour clock. A test takes one hour, 30 minutes. A pupil is allowed 10% extra time. The test starts at 13.30. At what time must the pupil finish the test? Give your answer using the 24-hour clock. So the time limit for the test is an hour and 30 minutes, which is 90 minutes. The additional time the student is allowed is 10% of that, which is just 9. So we just add on 99 minutes. So we can add that on in stages to make it easier. So adding an hour, half an hour, and then the final 9 minutes for 15.09 is the finish time. So I hope you found this demonstration video useful. And um, the very best of luck on your QTS test. Remember that you don't have to get all of the questions correct. Um, I find that many pupils begin to pass the test overall when they can get perhaps six or seven of the mental questions correct. So it's not a guarantee for everyone, but a good target is to maybe get seven out of 12. So I wish you all the very best of luck with this test.